Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. Are you guys ready to go ape again? I sure am because tonight we're going to do the Western Lowland Gorilla versus the Mountain Gorilla. So, let's get started. <laughs> As always, we start with our similarities. First up, both the Western Lowland Gorilla and Mountain Gorilla belong to the genus Gorilla and both live in the forests of Africa. Uh, more on that later. And, as is the case with all gorillas, they both live in large family groups that are usually made of a single silverback male, a few blackback males, several females, and they're young, and they're both strict herbivores. In the wild, they mainly eat fruit, leaves, shoots, and stems, and in the mountain gorilla's case, it includes bamboo and celery, and outside of an occasional sprinkling of termites, gorillas never eat meat. Sadly, both are threatened mainly by habitat loss and poaching. And again, as is the case with all gorillas, the silverbacks ward off enemies via displays that include chest pounding. Now, let's talk about the differences. First up is which parts of Africa they live in. The western lowland gorilla lives in the forests of the western parts of Africa, such as Gabon and the Congo, while the mountain gorilla lives in the mountainous forests of Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. And while gorillas are the largest primates, western lowland gorillas are smaller than mountain gorillas. An adult male western lowland gorilla weighs an average of around 300 pounds and stands up to 6 feet tall, while an adult female weighs from 150 to 200 pounds and stands up to 4.5 feet long. On the other hand, an adult male mountain gorilla can weigh up to 430 pounds, while females can weigh up to 220 pounds. Mountain gorillas also have longer and thicker fur, which helps them to withstand the colder temperatures in their mountainous habitats, and their fur is usually darker, ranging from black to dark brown. Their facial features also differ, with mountain gorillas having a broader and more pronounced forehead, while lowland gorillas have a more rounded and less prominent forehead. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the Western Lowland Gorilla and the Mountain Gorilla. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's go back to the safari hat and see what our next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? All right, let's see now. Here we go. Well, for the next one, we're going to be taking a look at two of Africa's super predators. And let's just say, yes, our teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared. Alpha Lion Simba, out.